Come in. You wanted to see me, sir? Ah, Miss Voyant. Claire Voyant, I believe. Have a seat. I'm not easily duped, Miss Diffie. That's why I have here before me three bowls. Only one has a little red ball beneath it. Now, a true clairvoyant should have no problem telling this me... This has nothing underneath. Now, if you want to know which bowl has the red ball underneath it, it's one of these two. And to be more specific, this one. Hmm. Could be a lucky guess. But I wasn't born yesterday. In fact, you should be able to tell me when I was born. Hmm. Hmm. I'm waiting. Hmm. Uh, Woodstock, New York, 1969, in a drum circle. Whatever that is. I've never mentioned that to anyone. You are clairvoyant. Oh, tell me something about my future. Hmm, well, let's see. I see great growth. Hair growth? Why not? <sighs> Interesting, because I just discovered a homeopathic hair growth recipe. I'm supposed to wear this 12 hours a night for two weeks. Or 48 hours a day for a half a week. 48 hours a day? But, but that's impossible. Or is it? There's no way Greg is going to talk to me about a girl. But he'll talk to Phil. Now all I have to do is act like Phil and nobody will... <gasps> that doesn't sound like Phil's voice. Mr. Dippy? Oh, no. What brings you to H.G. Wells? Oh, I was just, uh, working at the hardware store where I work. Then I thought I'd come see how both my kids are doing as their father. Your Pim is one very special little girl. Testing. Testing. <clears throat> okay. This is so cool. 